welcome to Tianjin University Ambassador Talks. My name is Timothy Joseph Tagal. I'm an admission promotion ambassador of Tianjin University. And today we are going to discuss about the finance major studying in Tianjin University. And we have been accompanied by our fellow ambassador, that is Pang Kenny. Hello, Kenny. How do you do? Hello, everyone. My name is Pang Kenny, and I study in Tianjin University in the Department of Management and Economics in the and the course I take is finance. Thank you. Yes, of course. It's a very good uh, introduction. And right now, we are going to discuss about the major of finance. So I think you can start your share screen. Okay. Can you guys see my screen? Yes. Okay, just like I have introduced myself, so I will skip it, skip this slide and I will talk about Tianjin University. Okay, this is the map. This is this Tianjin University, the view of Tianjin University. And Tianjin University is located in the eastern part of the northeastern part of China. And you can see the view is very very beautiful. And this is our school compound. It's called the Yangyang Campus. And it's called Beijing Road Campus. It is, part, it is a part of my university where the College of Management and Economics is held. And now, me, now let me introduce the College of Management of Tianjin University. Tianjin University began to set up management discipline in 1978 of Tianjin University. Yeah, as you can see that our school has set up this college years ago. And in 1984, the School of Management was established with the approval of the Minister of Education. It is one of the earliest established management college schools in the country, college and university. Currently, the Department of Management and Economics has three level disciplines such as management science and engineering business administration and public administration. And the first level discipline of Applied Economics is in the category of Economics, and the second level discipline of System Engineering is in the category of Engineering. Uh, do you have any question to ask me about? Uh, I think I want to ask you that you have introduced about Tianjin University at first. Uh, what is your first impression about Tianjin University? Oh, I chose Tianjin University to study because in because my secondary school principal, yeah. she introduced that she introduced me about Kenji University, and I I decided to study in the major of finance because I study science stream and I found that maths maths are more 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 I like maths more than science. Ah, oh, I see. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You can continue. Okay, I can continue. Okay. So let me introduce some course that contain in Tianjin University. So it's business administration and what we will learn in business administration. Basically, basically you will learn about business operation, human resource, applied management talents in marketing, entrepreneurial planning, and other management practice. After graduate, most of them will be employed by large state-owned enterprises such as Bank of China, China Construction Bank, CIC Securities, and other financial enterprises, Tencent, Alibaba, JD.com, Senzo, and other internet enterprises. So what is finance management and what we will learn in finance management? Basically, you will learn about data analysts and mathematical tools to make scientific financial decisions, use scientific methods, and mathematic tools for financial decision making. Student majoring in financial management have solid training in econometrics, statistics, operation research, and data analysis. After graduate, they get they are engaged in accounting, financial management, adulting, economic evaluation, and decision making, asset evaluation, and more. And so, what is e-commerce and what we will learn inside? Mostly, they have a solid of track. Tokyo Foundation for e-commerce and economy management and have an ability to innovate with the combination of information technology and business operation and master the law of business activity under the new economic form. After graduate, the employment rate of students is very, is in this major is very high and most of the employment units are social hot industry 
including Taobao, JD Mall, Yahoo, Tencent, and other large e-commerce company, as well as major banks and financial institutions with e-commerce and their strategy development direction, as well as major enterprise and institutions. And so what is business management? As you can see, it mainly cultivates those who can engage in business operation, human resource, applied management, talents in marketing, entrepreneurial planning, and other management practice. After graduate, in the past four years, most of, most of the graduate have been employed by a large state-owned enterprise such as Bank of China, China Construction Bank, CIC, Securities, and more, as you can see in the slide. And in teaching university, I study finance, so let me introduce my course. So what is finance? What we will learn in finance? And we will learn about basic principles of economics and finance, financial engineering, and quantitative analyze, analyzed methods and skills familiar with the knowledge and ability of commercial banks, capital market, insurance, and more. And after graduate, students get engaged in Risk, risk management, investment banking, and collective assets in relevant government department and subsidiaries, commercial bank, and more. Yeah. Okay. So, do you have any question? Yeah. Uh, I wonder because you have actually major in finance, and then I see about financial management. The name is quite similar. So, uh, would you mind to like describe the difference between those two? Oh. Okay. Okay. No problem. Finance and financial management encompass numerous business and government activities. In the past, in the most basic sense, the term finance can be used to describe the activity of a firm attempting to raise capital through the sales of stocks, bonds, or other promissory notes. And financial management can be defined as those business activities undertaken with the goal of maximizing shareholder wealth utilizing like the principle of the time value of money, leverage, diversification, and investment and expect an expected rate of return versus its risk. Okay. You can find more information. <laughs> I'm trying my best to understand. You can continue. <laughs> okay. So we have many costs in College of Management and Economy, such as financial management, director of business, project management, business administration, industry engineering, finance, logistics engineering, and information management and information system. Yeah. So. Yeah, uh, I, think I want to ask you only one. Uh, I see actually newly discovered the major uh, project management and industrial engineering. Would you also describe that as well? Oh, okay, okay. Project management is the application of process, method, skills, knowledge, and experience to achieve specific project objective according to the project acceptance within agreed parameters. Besides industry engineering in the branch of engineering, concerned with the design and operation of industry process. I see. Please continue your experience learning Tianjin. Right now, I will share to you some learning experience that I encountered. Firstly, Tianjin University will provide different kind of group study, and we also provide another group for us to communicate with teacher when we face technical problem. And during class, although during class, although in online class, we also communicate. To, we also communicate with teacher friendly in the picture as you can see that the chat box is very active and also the teacher are very friendly and kind. Overall, we have a great time. Yeah. Okay, before exam, teacher will also provide Q&A section to answer the question that you had encountered in your studies. If you have any question, our teacher will also answer you patiently and nice. Nicely, don't be shy or scared when you ask the teacher any question when you come to Tianjin University. So, do you have any question? Uh, yeah, right now, yeah, you are uh, studying online. Other than the, you know, the experience that you have, do you find any issues in your online studies? Yes, I do from time to time to find some issue that concerning in my internet. And 
I can share some experience. Like you before you have in class, you can check for your internet whether the megabyte is very high or low, so that you can share your line from your phone. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but there will be recording of the class, right? Uh, if you somehow lags in your internet. Uh, do you have the recording of the class after the class so you can rewatch it again? Yeah, I will record the re I will record my class by myself and I will repeat the recording by myself. And teacher will sometimes will provide some recording for us. Ah, I see. Yeah. I can share some study experience if you don't mind. Yes, no problem, please. And before, before classes, you can read through the chapter by yourself before the lecture start your lesson, and it will be more useful for yourself. And but some drawbacks will be <laughs> will be encountered in the online studies, like you can't communicate with the teacher immediately, and there are less online activities be held on online. In addition, when when I encountered problems, I can solve them in time which is quite troublesome for myself. Mm. See, yeah. yeah, because online study, we cannot like arrange schedule. I mean, we have to wait for their return. Yeah. Yeah. And also, you know, sometimes in some countries, maybe not in your country, about the time difference as well. We do not have time yeah, difference yeah. with China. Uh, your time difference with China, there's no time difference, right? I don't have time, time difference with China, but... My friend has time different with China, so sometimes when I take my lunch, they are sleeping, but they are sleeping, I, I take my lunch. Yeah, I see. Yeah. Uh, what, is, what about also your task and exams in this major? Is it too much or you can manage it as well? Mm, I can manage it as well because teacher are very friendly and give us many time to finish our work. And if... If, if we study hard, I think the exam is very easy for us. <laughs> uh, continue. You have another uh, slide. Yeah, yeah. And lastly, although we are learning online, our school still provides some event for us to join. For example, during mid-time, mid-autumn festival, our school ran an online meeting for us to join with other offline students. Not only that, Tianjin University had also provided us some event for us to get experience and creativity. For example, we had an event called International Student Ambassador, where we had to design a poster or video to pass out to strangers to let them understand more about our school. These two examples is just a tiny part of what we did. You also can experience these things when you come to Tianjin University. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, and of course, I wonder that you have mentioned your ambassador activity. So you have been two months right now. What do you feel uh, doing this ambassador activity? Mm, I feel that I will be very nervous when I face to the audience oh, and nice. to introduce my school. Yes. Yeah, that's fine because uh, it was me for the first time last year. Actually, I follow ambassador. It was normal at first that we have to face audience to promote our university. So I think, you know, each time that you do that as an ambassador, it will be much more familiar to you uh, and you can do it better and better. <laughs> yeah, because, okay, yeah, because let's say you have your friends that uh, may be still in high school. You can just say to them, I, I want to share to you about Tianjin University. Yeah, that is mainly what I concern about. And of course, let's continue with the job prospect that you have in finance major. So what do you think is the future job prospect of this major? Oh, and as you can see in slide shop, that way. Yeah. In slide shop. Okay. Wait, wait for a while. Yeah. As you can see in Slack job, I have mentioned already, students can engage in risk management, investment banking, and collective assets in relevant government departments and subsidiaries, commercial banks, and more. Yeah, uh, and also I wonder in job prospect, you know, as you 
uh, personally, as you as a bachelor student, uh, do you have like ambition to continue to what industries that you want to achieve? For example, mm. you mentioned risk management. I mean, what kind of industry that you are interested in? Maybe in the future, if you have like plans or something. For well, now, I just year one student, so I don't have any plans for my future because I, I plan to study master master after graduate in Tianjin University. It is very good because you know sometimes finance, as we know in general, people wants to continue to further education because you know they want more experience, and of course, as your bachelor, maybe you will have more activities, right? Do you plan to participate in competitions as well? Uh, yeah, I do. <laughs> yeah, because uh, meanwhile, I'm I'm. I just can't I I have I have attend some 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 yeah competitions. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, of course, I see that, you know, in your student association as well, there are so many business case competition, like financial competition. Yeah, I think I think you will follow that as well. And of course, I wonder if you know about fintech, financial technology. Financial technology? Fintech company, like uh, investment, trading. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's really booming right now. I mean, do you have yeah, yeah. any interest to that as well? I mean, it's also finance, I think. Oh, yeah, I, I also interested in that and sometimes I will go online to search some this kind of thing and I will put some money inside to invest. Oh, yeah, that's good as well. Yeah, because many, many more young people, uh, you know, study this major, usually look into that part. And for the last part that I want to ask you, you know, this major in management economics, there is many similarities, right? For example, finance, accounting, economics, business administration. Uh, may I ask you, why do you prefer so much into study in finance? In oh. Yeah. I study finance because my my cousin studied accounting, but I mm -hmm. I have go to her company to study some accounting that I found that accounting for me is very hard and a bit boring uh -huh. because it's <laughs> it day by day routine and routine do the same job. And I study finance because there are many graphs that can see and they can they can earn some money that I yeah, because yeah, finance can go into so much industry, and you also very interested in math. I think it really suits your interest as well. Yeah, and also before we close these talks, so I want you to give like motivation to viewers or audience to choose Tianjin University as their further study choice. Mm, okay, uh, after hearing what I say. If you are still struggling to find a perfect university for you, fear not, I'm here to tell you that Tianjin University is the right choice for you. Even if you doubt me, it's fine. I'm not forcing you to join us. I am here just to suggest. And we'll fully, fully welcome with an open arms if you decided to join us. Thank you for listening. <laughs> Yeah, of course. Thank you so much, uh, Pangani, for your sharing of the finance major. And of course, everyone, admissions to Tianjin University has opened until June 2022. They are also funded, fully funded scholarship. And the full information is in the website link in the description below. And of course, in the finance major, you can actually learn so much things and enter into various industries like uh, investment, financial risk management, uh, venture capital, investment banking, and so many more. If you're interested in managing and economics, you can consider study at Tianjin University. And of course, everyone, uh, thank you so much, Fangkeni, for your time. And I hope also for your future success endeavor learning in Tianjin University. And of course, uh, everyone, if you like this channel, you can like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. And stay tuned for the next episode of Tianjin University Ambassador Talks. Thank you, everyone. Have a good day. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye, everyone.